Hi, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Kinsey. I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Riley, and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm May, and I'm a freshman. And we are from Ogallala High School. Mountain And this is our poem titled, Stereotypes. Cheerleader. Number 15. Homewrecker. The Goth. I'm the cheerleader, top of the pyramid. You think I spelled pyramid wrong. You're shocked I said such a big word. Number 15, varsity starter in the middle and student council president. Once I got a B and my father called the teacher and got it changed. Don't even bother hiding your boyfriends because I probably slept with yours already. I wouldn't be surprised if he leaves you by the end of the week. Better watch out. I'm the goth your parents always told you never to be friends with. Because I wear dark clothing. Because I prefer to spend my time alone. Because, because I, I am better, better than them. them. No, no, wait, wait that's, that's wrong. wrong. Walking in the hall, hearing your name being whispered, like, like an echo bouncing, bouncing around in the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Friends who become just acquaintances because of things strangers said. So scared that someday I, I won't, won't be the smartest, and, and the, the world, world will crush me underneath its fist, and my GPA and ACT scores won't matter. My best friend didn't invite me to her own birthday party. She, she didn't, didn't want, want the freak around for everyone, everyone to look at. And so I never got to go to that party. But, but I, I heard, heard about, about it. it. She's not my best friend anymore. Make no mistake. Adults are worse than kids. Teachers, Teachers more, more specifically. Oh, Riley, you actually know that? Yeah, I'm actually the only one passing your class. Maybe, maybe if, if you, you looked past, past the surface, maybe, maybe if, if you scraped, scraped under, under the first layer, layer you would see my wires aren't, aren't totally connected. connected. I have a disability you never thought was a possibility. Like dodging a punch that is constantly flying, but when, but when one, one is landed, landed, the impact is detrimental. People scroll through us like we're a BuzzFeed quiz. Choose your activities and we'll label your life. Your demeanor. How, how people, people stare you down in the hallways. And don't forget to share. But it doesn't matter who we are. What we wear. Who our parents are. We are locked away to write poetry on Monday afternoons and Thursday mornings. And we've lost the key. Don't you forget about me. But, but we, we are, are not the Breakfast Club. Club. We do not give each other physical makeovers. We, we wipe it all away. The thick black eyeliner. The bright red lipstick. The, the concealer. concealer. We dig each other out of graves. graves. Battling monsters with human faces. As we survive in this swamp of beauty on Mondays and Thursdays, we, we are, are not the Funhouse fun mirrors. mirrors. People assume we are warped versions of ourselves. But, but we, we are, are genuine. And, and our reflections are so true. These words pour through us. Pipelines, Pipelines connecting, connecting us. us pumping words, words into our veins. Poetry. Poetry knows you, every piece of you, and won't judge you. Poetry is the game you always win. Poetry is a friend who never leaves you. Poetry is the light shining in the vast darkness. Poetry is a drum pounding alongside us. To the beat of my frantic heart, it's every strum of the guitar, our heartstrings. We are not a single voice, but, but a, a choir. choir. Blending into one. Poetry gives us a voice, and, and we deserve to be heard. heard.